Hello everyone, I'm Ntom64, and welcome, 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 to the start of our year-long celebration of Hellfire Com's 15th anniversary. You know, back in 2008 somewhat, I, I never realised that uh, following the uh, <laughs> termination of my original Ntom64 account for posting deleted screenshots of uh, Sonic Unleashed, that I would go on to create a channel so irrelevant so over the hill and musty, and yet so long livid as HFC, and it would be filled with ups and downs, and uh, mostly downs, let's not kid ourselves, but damn. Uh, if I go on anymore, if I wax anymore, nostalgically we'll be here all day. But uh, one of the things we're doing to celebrate the 50th anniversary is uh, the redoing of certain classic playthroughs. Some of them will have, you know, just basic new footage, new commentary, and some like this uh, will have new footage, same old commentator, but a lot more new content to boot. First of all, thank you Spa for recording the game for us, but thank you Helldragon for agreeing to come back for this. It was kind of interesting, now that I look back on this, because it's been it's been so long since you and I did the original, and so many things have changed since then, not just in terms of Kingdom Hearts, uh, multi-headed Hydra that it is, but also <laughs> in terms of all the companies involved and all the ways you and I have changed as well for that, so a lot of this is kind of, it's, it's really nostalgic. Not this cover, though. I, I understand that this is a cover probably being done in order to get around Square Enix being very nitpicky with terms of what music they have on oh, YouTube, yeah. but for the most part, 90% the same. Man, I remember following the updates in college for uh, the Japanese version of KH2, listening to Sanctuary over and over, just waiting to see what wonderful person would be revealed the next time an organization HUD got lowered. And I specifically remember uh, the first time I saw Zaldin, so <laughs> that's fun. You know, I wasn't really following closely like you were, but for me, I just kind of happened into it. Like, I had played Kingdom Hearts 1, you know, I enjoyed it, I, I had a good time, and then I found out somehow, I'm trying to remember how exactly I found out, it probably was online somewhere, that they made a Kingdom Hearts 2. I'm like, wow, that's amazing! You know, I'm glad that they made that, so I went ahead and I bought it, and, you know, I played it and I enjoyed it. But then, then the hooks started to get in, where I started to realize some things that I felt conflicted about, and I guess th this is really the starting point, I guess, because as you know, if you followed this channel for many years, I, Marts and I have beefs. We have various beefs with each other, but yeah. um, I, I, I will ultimately say that this isn't a bad game. I don't hate Kingdom Hearts 2. There is a lot of stuff I enjoyed about it, and I know with this being Final Mix, there's so many things that they changed. I've never touched Final Mix, although I've been meaning to. But it, it'll be interesting to kind of see how they have changed a lot of stuff since you and I originally did this playthrough. Now, the original game, I believe, came out in 2005. This was 2007, so uh, it was a fairly quick turnaround for uh, the amount of new content that's in the game. Like, you got your optional bosses, uh, there's like altered cutscenes and whatnot. Recolors are kind of a standard thing for Final Mix. Backwards talking, that's just a thing that's included in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Free of charge, really. When you take Alucard and you switch it backwards to get Dracula, it's like completely different, you know, but you feel like a badass when you figure that out. Yeah, then you flip the castle upside down and bada bing bada boom, twice the content. I, I also was following along when they did like, for example, you know, Chain of Memories, uh, originally on GBA, so that was actually one I was also excited for. Uh, it was that time where it was super easy to get GBA games without paying money <laughs> oh, and that was that that's how i kind of followed the gba library but back then you know i was still very firmly uh into the kingdom hearts hype and it was kind of interesting to see what kind of new mysteries they were building up and then as you know of course over time i started to realize the luster is a little stronger um than how it originally turned out but there you are yeah long story short i still hold the love of kingdom hearts within my bloated tacky Somewhat <laughs> ominously dark heart. Hell Dragon, he kind of likes to keep it at arm's length, but uh, no matter what, they will keep turning out games. You cannot stop Tetsuya Nomura and his wacky wild ride. I guess I'm trying to think about where they are now. I know they're like, I don't know, uh, 
500 years in the past or something. They're talking about how uh, the original Xehanort and young Ericus are kind of bopping around doing their thing. Eventually, they're probably going to get to a point where they talk about to the primordial soup. There's like protoform Sora over here and protoform Kyrie. <laughs> that kind of deal. Thank God you didn't say Mickey Mask crawling out the primordial soup. I may have just shut off the recording. Oh, God. Yeah. You know, and, and again, um, it's, you know, especially interesting because back then, you know, when this came out, Disney was not juggernaut. It is now. Now, Disney was never a small company. Now, you know, they've got LucasArts, they have Marvel, they have all this other shit, and the stakes have changed so dramatically in terms of how Disney presents itself. So, kind of interesting to see the roots, so to speak. It begins. You have arrived. I've been to see him. Oh man, <laughs> it's a, is, it, is it all coming back to you as it is for me? Oh god, yes, all the original things we said. <laughs> I'm what's left. Of the pizza. Or maybe I'm all there ever was. His name is not Dongs. Ugh. My name is of no importance. Kingdom Hearts likes to do this, where it'll just have one character not say anything, and then in the later scene they will say something, and then you'll go, oh. Notice that with Kingdom Hearts, they, they have this ability to say so much stuff and not really have any meaning behind any of those words. Lots of buzzwords, darkness, you know, my name is of no importance, nobody's, all these kind of terms they're thrown around that only later on get, you know, actually kind of cleared up. You either gel with that sort of writing or you don't. I'm not going to sit here judging you for that unless you're like being a cock end about it and you never really have been, well, outwardly. Anyway, maybe inside your heart there is just, oh god, Tom, why does he like this series so much? Why do I hang out with this guy? <laughs> I mean, I, I will admit for me as I've gotten older, because I am definitely getting older at this point, um, I've gotten a lot more picky, a lot more reserved in kind of what I like, what I consume. Lots of things kind of came into play for that, and I wouldn't really say it was Kingdom Hearts' what? fault, <laughs> but it, it kind of got caught in the crossfire of how this happened. Nothing. Sora. Just to uh, go back a bit and answer your question, by the way, right now we are currently on, uh, well, we're waiting for Kingdom Hearts Missing Link, and then we're also waiting on Kingdom Hearts 4, where Sora is dead and he is in Quadratum, a fictional world. Yeah, a fictional world where he's able to afford his own apartment. That's how you know the story isn't real. Ugh. Hey, uh... uh hmm. <laughs> Another dream about him. I want a revolving fish lamp. I'm pretty sure you can buy one of those somewhere. I don't know. Look, I haven't gone on Etsy in God knows how long. I know they've got some weird-ass crap on there, okay? So what, does Roxas like rent this place? I know we're dealing with like a digital thing and he's like a prisoner and whatnot. Yeah, we are going to be dealing with spoilers for the whole series. Like we did with KH1, Final Mix. But um, I gotta ask the real questions this time. You know, I, I do remember when they were building up the Kingdom Hearts 2 and we saw this blonde haired kid and we had no idea who he was or what he represented. Like we thought, I remember, I was thinking he was going to be like a completely new protagonist because Sora was lost yeah. for that. And, it, and that only partially came true, <laughs> at least in the first like 30 minutes of this game. Uh, the BHK, as uh, he used to be called, blonde haired kid uh, for uh, his proper name. Okay, we have the Twilight Town trio here. Uh, Hayda, Pence, and Odalette. I'm trying to think on this game and, you know, some uh, correspondence in Kingdom Hearts 3. Have they done anything else in the series? I don't know. I don't follow the mobile games. Maybe I mean, you can enlighten me if they show up anywhere else. Uh, well, we had uh, Pence's uh, Pain Pavilion on the 3DS. That was like download software. Pain Pavilion? What? <laughs> I was really hoping you'd take that bait, but alas, no, they're uh, just kind of like bopping about. In 3, there was a whole thing with like trying to find Roxas. Roxas has a real body now, he's a real person, same with Nomino. Yeah, they just kind of downloaded him into like a cyber shell. It's not like Metal Gear Revengeance though, where, you know, you can be like a robot ninja, it's just the same body as before. But there's no enhancements, which is sad. It was kind of weird, like, the first thing Roxas did was make, like, an hour-long video about how to raise Chow, honestly. Yeah, I guess if you're gonna get a new life, you're gonna squander it by immediately going on YouTube, becoming an influencer, I guess. 
we could find the real thieves. That would set the record straight. Hey, that sounds fun. How did you what feel about, about this um, First, prelude to the game proper? Because there wasn't such a thing in KH3. The, the closest the thing would be uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts um, a Fragmentary gone. Passage with Aqua, Are which gone. is about, I would say, roughly the same length of time, but they opted to make that its own separate game. I think it's better in Kingdom Hearts 3 that they kind of jumped to the point. You know, obviously gone. a real big critique of this game was the beginning. Where, you know, you would spend all this time with Roxas and kind of meander about and build up to it and then get back to Sora. And I, I you know, I get the narrative reason for that, but I think a lot of people were just kind of getting antsy at that point. So I can see why they took that out for the third one. I think Gaming Brit did a uh, pretty good defense of this whole thing on his channel. I'm not going to uh, sit here paraphrasing what he said. You can go to his channel. Uh, he's a good friend of ours, friend of the channel. Uh, once a HFC member, but uh, he actually has talent, so he he managed to go somewhere. No offense to the people still with me. See, this is me what happens when I don't have His my copy in the morning, just bawn. I'm done. Doubtless he'll awaken very soon. God. Christopher Lee was still around at this point, so. Now that I think about it, so many people have died <laughs> during the uh, making of this series. Uh, a lot of that due to delay for them actually getting the third game out. But yeah, no, Christopher Lee was an amazing talent, of course. And during this playthrough, there will be other people that we must unfortunately talk about that have no longer been with us, I'm afraid. Ugh, yeah. Here, get a shirt. You need a new shirt, like, real bad. That thing's been on your body for, like, a month. I don't know if you wash it. I don't know if you have any others, but we need to change your look fast. We have to hop forward. Can you hop forward? If you can't remember, just hit up the menus. I mean, I remember back in the day when they just kind of want your ass, dumbass to read the manual. But now you have to play through everything, you know? I guess that's a better way to teach people, but at the same time, I'm impatient and I just want to get to it, you know? I can't remember whether the original ran at 60 frames per second, but I gotta say, these PS4 collections, mmm, tasty. <laughs> Why the fuck aren't they on Switch? Why are they cloud versions? Yeah, no, that's really kind of strange, I guess, again, because the Switch doesn't really have that kind of hard drive space to kind of do what it needs to do, so they have to host on the cloud. Still not great. No, I'd rather have a hard copy, personally. Well, th there's that, and there's, like, the whole thing with free being a cloud version. Maybe they wanted them all to match up, but it still peeves me, and if you go and watch my reaction to Sora making it into Smash, a dream come true, by the way, <laughs> the turnaround from me getting hype at the games being announced as ports for Switch to them being cloud versions is, mwah, it's immaculate. Yeah, you can just kind of imagine, oh no, I just had a terrible idea, Kingdom Hearts as a service, ugh, that'd be awful. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want it to be Suicide Squad, thank you very much. Man, did you see the trailer for that, by the way? It's like, wow, everybody sure looks like they played the same, and Captain Boomerang is here too for some fucking reason, I don't know. <laughs> I was watching that state of play, yeah, and, uh, oh boy. Uh, less said about that, the better. We lock onto a cat. Uh, it's interesting because I know now YouTube has changed so much that I have to be a little careful with what I say because I know apparently you can't cuss in like the first like minute or so because somebody's, you know, wiener kids might be watching and now it's apparently our job <laughs> to babysit them and I'm not doing that by the way, I don't care, so. <laughs> well, uh, thankfully Kingdom Hearts 2 and its Final Mix version make sure to censor the most deadly slur of them all. I mean, you remember when, when we were first doing this and we had like a little contest to see who could fill up that word with whatever they wanted to say? I do. Big Al was part of that. I'm trying to remember the best ones. I know obviously there was a Zoe World though, but I'm trying to remember if there's any other ones I like. I'd have to go review it. Man, back in the day, Hal Dragon was still talking about JoJo, but I hadn't watched it already yet. Oh, that's true. Yeah, no, I got I got Tom turned on to JoJo, and he became a little obsessed with it. Part 9 started recently, by the way. I need to catch in on that. Uh, yeah, I read the first chapter. It's pretty good. JoJo. Nice comeback there, Blondie. Hello, Cypher. It's been too long. God, say the line. You can give us back the... now. My dick. Give back yeah, my dick. The only ones who would uh, Raijin and Fujin over there with Vivi. Ah! Proof that we totally owned you, lamers. See, that was worth redoing so the whole playthrough, do? just to get that line. <laughs> yeah, it just ends there. Like, we're done, we don't need to cover anything else. Say anyone who gives a fuck, I don't care. Prove that you're losers. Replay. <laughs> now you're talking. Oh man, I've been obsessed with them. Um, 
Theatre Rhythm Final Bar Line recently. It's back. one of their uh, river matching fly. games, and uh, <laughs> everyone is like level 99 for the FF8 characters, except for Cypher over here. <laughs> what level was he? <laughs> yeah, probably about 80 something. Roxas. That's weird. I don't see why they wouldn't have just bumped him up all the way. I don't know. Well, no, you have to choose to level them up. I chose not to. Hmm. Now, are you going to take the sword like last time, or are you going to surprise me? Oh, a uh, club used in struggle. Prioritize offense, don't mind if I do! Hey, the best defense is good offense, and the best offense is even more offense. Roxas, focus! It's been so long since I looked at Final Fantasy VIII. I'm trying to remember exactly what else Cypher did, you know, in that game. Well, he didn't have uh, a belly shirt, I can tell you that for free. Oh, thank god. I think Zell was the one with the belly shirt, now that I think about it. Ah, uh, yes. The Fresh Maker. <laughs> Don't call it that, please. <laughs> Am I dredging up other Come painful on. memories? You're We're starting to a little bit, yeah. I mean, we've got this whole playthrough ahead of us. No doubt I'm gonna remember some things, but I'd rather not. That's fair. You know, Hater Pants, even though, like, you could come and uh, help me right now. Well, well, I'll do it myself, I guess. Then can you see OLED swinging a stick? I don't think that's gonna happen. That would be pretty hype. You know, there was that multiplayer mode in um, 358 over two days that uh, didn't have online for reasons I don't understand, but whatever. <laughs> it should be uh, pretty funny. Arrgh! It'd be funny if Pence's fat ass pulls out like a fucking turret gun or something. <laughs> Cypher's not feeling so hot, you know? Tournament decides. I'll beat your ass too. Get over here. Now, Dog Street, I believe, is a brand of clothing that originated in another Square game, The Bouncer. The Bouncer? Is a Bouncer reference? I didn't know that. What was that? The Thief? I don't know, but go kiss it. Yeah, that's a very downplayed reaction to seeing, like, a Gimp Ghost appear out of nowhere. Now that I think about it, uh, as you know, since Persona invented everything, this kind of looks like an enemy that would be in a Persona game, don't you think? A little bit. That's something else that's different. It's on basically every platform now, his Persona, and especially the Switch. Except the, um, you know, no, I think you can play the earlier versions and fairly recent ones. I think it's on Steam or whatever. Everything's on Steam now, you know? So that's kind of how I play games these days anyway. Say the line. Do it. We're here, we're here to get amused by the same lines we heard like 20 years ago. Was it 20 years ago? Kind of damn near, right? <laughs> well, no, 15, mate. What year did Kingdom Hearts 2 come out? Was it like 2005? Uh, yes it was, as I mentioned earlier. We did the playthrough in uh, 2008, following the playthrough of our first game. By the way, I just want to point out for the record, I don't think it's pronounced Leaguey. I was making a joke back then. Leaguey? What? <laughs> Whatever, it's Liege. This is me trying to fight a dude. Just, uh, stop it. Get over here. It's no use. Please, God, give me an unwieldy weapon. Oh, thank you, Lord. What? Am I a net nappy now? What? Ooh, nice. Uh, Battle Network collection coming soon. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty hyped for that. I'm going to get that on Steam. I mean, my tax refund's coming in, so I'm looking at stuff I want to buy nice. for that. That may be one of those games. Although the sale's apparently coming up soon, so I'm going to wait for that, actually. Very nice. Fight the mysterious enemy. <laughs> Anything that's different, just attack it. Yeah, you know, just I'm going to meet a dude on the street. You're a mysterious enemy. I have to kick your ass with this giant key I found. Well, okay. I guess I better drop some loot afterwards. I mean, that's how it should work in real life. I should just be able to beat somebody up and then I take like, you know, like 20 of their dollars. It's like River City Ransom in a way, except you get arrested at the end. Uh, I mean, that kind of happens anyway. You don't need to be in a video game. Did they drop trading cards too? Oh. Krusty visits relatives. How droll. Man, Pence is highly collectible in the set too. Yeah. The rare gold Pence card. <laughs> Hayden's is like, why is Olet a holofoil? And I'm just a comet. This is bullshit. Why is my power toughness only one one? I'm at least a two two. Come on. It's a really nice photo. Oh. Hey, you just said photo. Told you, the most deadly slur known to man. Don't take photos, I guess, guys. The pictures were just lying there. Then how do we prove we weren't the ones who took them? Get a photo of that. Ah, yeah. You look happy, Roxas. Do not. I'm not happy, trust so, like, me. Pretty sure she's like twice his age. And about the same height, which is interesting. Oh, so that's 
to my Oh no. Oh, Haina has an X necklace. You know what that means. Oh no. I remember now. God. So does Roxas, but that makes sense. Look. Right? Every single one. That photo in particular is very important going forward. Keep it in mind. Well, I know what happened, so yes, I'm gonna have to, right? Well, I'm gonna remind you anyway, because that's just the kind of pedant I am. Oh, good. It's nice to know nothing has changed. <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> well, the birds are noisy today. No, that's a train, Roxas. Roxas, that's a train. Come on. I live here now, so you guys have to leave. <laughs> you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I don't even have a fridge. Damn it. The walking away scene. Pivotal. Ah, yes. Ah! Eh, bright light. What is this giant ball of light? <laughs> Where am I? Brazil. Who's there? Who are you? What am I? What's going on? Huh? Restoration at 12%. Ah, finally. The original uncensored version of Pinocchio will at last be mine. I'm rolling back. This Windows 10 install is going to take a while. <laughs> they found us. But why would the nobody steal photographs? I don't fucking know. They don't have any hearts. Goddamn monsters. Do we really need to ask questions? Could never tell the difference. We are running out of time. Duke is right. Ah, join us next time for more of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix.